Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. In the last video, we have discussed about method overriding, polymorphism, compile time polymorphism and runtime polymorphism with a real life example as well as practical example. Okay. In this video, we are going to discuss about covariant return type. This is new concept in Java and to understand the concept of covariant return type, you should know about method overriding and I have made a separate video on method overriding. If you haven't watched that video, then you can go through a link that I have mentioned in the description of this video. So first watch that video so that you can clearly understand about covariant return type. So let's begin. So let's understand covariant return type directly through an example. It will be better to understand and I will go very easy. So don't worry, keep watching. Okay. So as we discussed in method overriding, in method overriding, two classes are involved, one parent class and one child class because method overriding cannot be done within the same class, right? That already we have discussed in method overriding tutorial. So let's create one parent class that is super class and it's A, okay, and one child class okay and it's b and here b extend a okay and there is one method in a parent class and it's suppose int m1 method okay and here we can write system dot out dot println println okay and here just put a message I am class A okay and return integer value because here return type is integer right so here return A okay and just declare a here so here int a equals to suppose 4 so this is parent class method now I want to override this method in child class and to override parent class method in child class return type method name and parameters of method must be exactly same as that of parent class method or oh, parent class method is int okay and the method name is m1 and here no parameters here that's why here we also do not need to pass any parameters okay and here just put a message so stem system dot out dot println okay and here i am class b and here return integer value b equals to suppose 2 okay so in this way we can override parent class method in a child class so this is our overriding method okay and this parent class method is called overridden method so basically point is that if we have to override parent class method in child class then return type method name and parameters must be exactly same as that of parent class method we cannot change return type method name or parameters of overriding method and if we change it then compiler will raise an error but java version 5 onward it is possible to change the return type of overriding method that means before jdk 5 it was not possible to change the return type of overriding method but java version 5 onwards java added new rule for method overriding and that is we can change written type of overriding method but there is no straightforward way to change the written type of overriding method that is some restrictions or we can say some conditions are involved there so first condition is that if we have to change written type of overriding method then written type of parent class method must be non-primitive data type that means if return type of parent class method is non-primitive type then and only then we can change the return type of overriding method otherwise compiler will raise an error 
Now question comes that what is mean by non primitive type? So first let's focus on it. Now see here if method has an integer return type then method returns an integer type value for example 4 right and if method has an float return type then method return an float type value for example 2.1 okay and if method has an boolean return type then method returns an boolean value true or false similarly if method has short byte long double and char return type then method returns value accordingly so here int float boolean short byte long double and char these are the primitive types that is these are the primitive data types in java right similarly method can also be written an object or classes string or arrays so these are the non primitive types that is non primitive data types so basically i am coming to the point that if return type of parent class method is non primitive type in that case only we can change the return type of overriding method and if return type of parent class method is primitive type or void then in that case we cannot change the return type of overriding method clear i hope you understand what is primitive types and non primitive types now let's come to the point okay now see here the return type of this method is integer type that is primitive type right and if i want to override this method in a child class then the return type of overriding method must be exactly same as that of parent class methods return type and suppose if i change the return type of overriding method and it's suppose float okay then compiler will raise an error so let's check it out but before that create an object and call the method so here i have create a separate class and it's a test class okay to put executable code such as main method and all and always try to keep executable code in separate class it will be helpful to maintain the code in case of large program and it's also considered as a good programming practice okay so let's create an object inside main method okay so here b new b okay and now let's call the method so here obj dot m1 okay so here child class m1 method will execute because we have called this method using child class object okay now let's run the code okay now see here compiler raise an error the return type is incompatible okay so simply keep in mind in method overriding if return type of parent class method is primitive type or void then in that case we cannot change the return type of overriding method clear up to this now coming to the point now see here if i write here a okay now the return type of this method is a and a is parent class that is super class hence we can say the return type of this method is class type or super type so the return type of this method is non primitive type so the return type of this method is class type that means this method returns an object of class a so simply keep in mind if method returns any object then return type of method should be name of class whose object has to be written so here let's create object of class a okay so here a ob1 okay now return it so here ob one now i want to override this method in child class and now see here the return type of parent class method is class type that is non primitive type now question comes that what should be the return type of overriding method right so in this case return type of overriding method is either can be same as that of parent class methods return type okay and it's a so here we can write a this is also valid or subtype of parent class methods return type and subtype means subclass type or we can say child class type so the child class of a is b so here subtype of a will be b so here return type will be b now return object of b 
so basically if written type of parent class method is non primitive type such as classes string or arrays then the written type of overriding method either can be same as that of parent class methods written type or sub type of parent class methods written type so in this way we can change the written type of overriding method so if we notice here written type of parent class method and the written type of overriding method is different that is both the methods have different written type and this concept is nothing but the covariant written type and covariant means different so both the methods have different written type and hence this concept is called as covariant written type so simply keep in mind covariant written type allow us to change the written type of the overriding method but the written type of overriding method must be a sub type of parent class methods written type now let's check it out is it valid or not okay now let's run the code now see here code compiles fine without any compilation error even though we have changed the written type of overriding method that means java version 5 onward it is possible to override method by changing written type but as we discussed earlier if we change the written type of overriding method in case of primitive types then compiler raise an error and if we change written type of overriding method in case of non primitive types then code compiles fine without any compilation error right that means covariant written type only work for non primitive types and won't work for primitive types clear i know this concept is quite confusing and hence i am taking one more example to make it clear now see here if i create one more class okay minus p and one sub class that is child class and its q and q extends p okay so here p is a super class right and q is a sub class now suppose the written type of this parent class method is p okay and p is a super class right and hence we can say the written type of this method is super type or class type okay and if we have to override this parent class method in a child class then what will be the written type of overriding method okay so the written type of overriding method either can be same as that of parent class method so the written type of parent class method is p so here also we can write p okay or sub type of parent class methods written type okay so here the written type of parent class method is p then the sub type of p that is the sub class of p is q okay so here q is a sub type of p so here written type will be q okay and this concept is nothing but the covariant written type so here written type either can be same as that of parent class method or covariant that is sub type of p and now create object of class p because the written type of this method is p okay and hence this method will return the object of p okay same we can write here just create the object of class q because the written type of this method is q and hence this method will return the object of class q okay now let's check it out is it valid or not now see here code compiles fine without any compilation error that means it work but if we run this same code using earlier version of jdk 5 that is on jdk 1.4 then you may raise an compilation error because before jdk 5 the concept of covariant written type was not available that means java compiler 1.4 doesn't support this concept so this is about covariant written type i hope you understand the concept of covariant written type and for more help you can refer my notes that i have mentioned in a description of this video now i am going to end this session so keep learning keep growing and thank you so much for watching